What's going on guys, it's Brody Kerner and today I'm going to talk to you about creating yourself. You see, many people think that their personality is stuck in one spot. They have these personality traits that are going to, you know, sector them off into certain job types, into certain friend groups, into a certain way of life. But here's the deal. You can create the exact person that you want to be. Whoever it is that you want to be like, whatever it is that you admire about people, you can have it. Your personality is made up of the way you think, the way you act, and the way that you feel, right? Think about that. The way you think, act, and, the, and how you feel. That is what your personality is made up of. You can change the way that you think by talking to yourself more than you listen to yourself, right? If your brain is telling you, hey, you know, you see someone who's really confident and you want to be like that and your brain says, you know, you're not a confident person, you have that limiting belief in the back of your mind, well, you can spend time literally drilling that into your brain. No, I am a confident person. Talk to yourself more than you listen to yourself so that you start to change on a subconscious level. The next thing that you can do is you can act like a confident person. If you're scared to go and talk to someone new, if you're scared to introduce yourself to somebody, go and introduce yourself to five people today. That is what confident people do. They start conversation. They don't get what other people think. You can start doing that today. So now you're thinking like a confident person. You're acting like a confident person. Now, how do you feel like a confident person? Now, this is a really great question. This comes down to state control. We've made you know, videos on this before. But when you look at a person who's not confident, they're slouched over, they talk quietly, you know, they look at the ground, they don't really make eye contact, and then you see someone who's radically confident, they sit up straight, chest out, they're loud, they talk with their hands, they take deep breaths. You can literally control the way that you feel. You can create feelings. So now we have three things. If you are, you know, controlling the way that you think, the way that you act, and the way that you feel, on a daily basis, over time, you will start to become that person that you want to become. You can do whatever the f it is that you please. My life, the reason that I'm on this camera talking about this is because my life is a great example of this. Me in my natural state, I was a scared, weak bitch. I was overweight. I was afraid to be alone with my own thoughts. I was afraid of success, afraid of failure, afraid of committing suicide, which I thought about daily. I literally had nothing going for me and nobody else thought that I would ever pull anything together. But guess what? I made a committed and congruent decision to change, right? I put a clear picture in my head of who it was that I wanted to be. I wanted to be a fit person who was spiritual, who made money, who had relationships, who was confident and, t you know, spoke in front of stages. I wanted to run marathons. I had all these crazy things that I wanted to do. Looking at the person that I was, these were total fucking ludicrous. Everyone told me I could not do it. Brody, chill out, slow down. That's way too audacious. Well, guess what? I did it, motherfuckers, and so can you. You literally can do whatever you want. There's a reason that I have this, the self-made man statue tattooed on my arm. If you haven't seen this, it's the guy etching himself out of the rock. Have you ever seen that? There's like this, this guy with a really like overweight bottom, right? And then you see this shredded dude from the waist up and the dude's just pounding, you know, pounding the ax into the rock, shaving the form, the mold of who he wants to be. This is totally like, it represents the way that I have been able to create my life. The way that I follow every single day, I'm like, where do I need to etch it out of the rock so that I can be like more like the person that I want to be in 10 years, right? How can I start acting like that person that I want to be in 10 years right now? Because guess what? If you have this idea of all the things that you want to do, the person that you want to be, and you're not behaving like that, it's never ever going to come to fruition. That is absolutely it. But if you have someone that you want to be in 10 years, right? The person that you are in 10 years doesn't smoke, right? Is fucking super great to their spouse, is fit fuck, meditates every day, eats good. If you want to be doing that in 10 years and you're not doing it right now, it's never going to happen because your future, your present is just a lagging indicator of your habits, right? So whoever you want to be, you have to start thinking, acting, and feeling like that person right now. But the great news is, if I can do it, I promise you, anyone can do it. I was not always this guy. 
I was not always this guy. Nobody thought I could do it and I did it, right? That is how you have to think. That is the mindset that you have to have. I have a vision for where I'm going. Nobody else is the visionary of my story. Nobody else is bringing their hammer to help etch me out of the rock. No, they're trying to do their own deal, right? They're trying to add shit on my rock, hold me back. You have to take the ownership of the situation, right? If you, you have a bunch of friends who don't support you being a elevated version of yourself, right? You hang out around, around a bunch of losers and you want to be a success, they're going to hold you back, right? Successful people don't hang out with losers. So if you want to be successful and you hang out with losers, then stop that immediately. I get the friends or your boys from high school, dude. It doesn't matter, right? You have to be willing to do what it takes. Your friends, they suck. They're losers, right? Get new friends. All my closest friends I literally met on social media and then went to events and met them there, right? Because that's where the winners were. I grew up in Missouri, dude. Like there's nobody it. Everybody around me said like, what are you doing? Why are you putting out content? Don't be doing that. Well, guess what? They get it, right? They don't get it. I tried to show them. I said, hey, here's personal development. Here's Think and Grow Rich. Here's Rich Dad, Poor Dad, right? They brush off. I said, okay. That's my attempt at it, right? So just keep thoughts off my plate because I can assure you I don't give a and I'm gonna go do my own deal and make friends who are doing the same thing. Make friends who are pushing me forward, right? Make friends who are creating the life that they want because guess what? That's going to inspire me to create the life that I want. That is the formula. Act as the person that you wanna be and then get around people who are just like that person that you wanna be. That's it. It's so simple. Think, act, feel, and hang around the people who are like the way that you want to be. And you will be able to create the future you that you've always dreamed of. But you got to start right now. There's no tomorrow. Because guess what? Like when you think about it this way, tomorrow never comes. It never comes. You are always in a constant state of right now. It is always the present. So if you're not focusing on being the person that you want to be in the present, tomorrow will never come. You will never become that person that you want to be. It will never work. So start right now. Get very, very clear on who it is that you want to become. The way to do this, very simple way to do this, is because a lot of time for us, it's tough to figure out exactly who we want to be. So here's what you need to do. You need to figure out exactly who you don't want to be. If you make a T-chart, right? You say, okay, me in 10 years, write that at the top, right? Does do on one side and right does not do on the other side. If you start writing the things that the 10 year version of yourself does not do, it will show you what the person is supposed to do, right? So if you say, you know, me in 10 years, does not smoke, does not eat shitty food, does not miss the gym, does not miss meditation, right? You'll now know that you need to consume good food, you need to go to the gym, you need to meditate on a daily basis, and that will help you paint the picture of who it is that you wanna be. Simple exercise to bring about massive clarity. And once you've done that, once you have done that, what you need to do is start right now. So if you like this video, subscribe to the channel, share the video, post that T-chart on Instagram of the 10-year version of yourself and tag me in it and I will drop another video, I will promote you, I will do everything in my power to help you grow and become that person that you can. Peace.